So we're here at the Grey Nuns Hospital in the Department of Psychiatry and today is the opening of our art project which we've been working on since last fall. So we've partnered with the Art Mentorship Society of Alberta uh, who are a group, a collective of artists, uh, many of whom have experienced mental illness to show that there are two sides to mental illness. There is the sad side, the suffering and the torment, and being in hospital, of course, is one of those um, phases. But there's also this side that's beautiful and creative, and I think the art project was designed to instill hope and provide advocacy for patients with mental illness um, by a group who knows better than anybody what it's like to, uh, to endure mental illness. It can be a lonely and sometimes sad times that brings people here. We appreciate what the, the work people do, but what I hope is that they can get a distraction from whatever unfortunate circumstances have brought them to this place. I've fiddled through a lot of ups and downs in my life and as my, through my journey of, of mental health. There's been, there's been insight, there's been setbacks, and sometimes art has not always been accessible, but when I found a community that's of similarly minded people who've been sympathetic to mental health and creativity, it gives me something to do, something to do with my days, something to look forward to, some, a reason to get up in the morning and get out of bed, a, something to give back to the community, something to make me feel good, and the, to create brightness when there's a, a darkness. And it can, it can help lift me out of depression because it's, it, it's working on something visually appealing that I can, I can see happiness in it. And when things aren't good, I can express things like depression or isolation in a way that isn't just keeping it in, it's putting it out.